give you a dollar if you can guess what BMW these are going on. Last episode, you're like betting a nickel. We upgraded because <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> I don't even think they've seen this BMW yet. Nobody's seen that episode. That's what I'm saying. They only see the Datsun. Yeah, they're, they're going on the daily. If y'all can guess, I got a crispy golden dollar for you. Sitting on my counter at home. So, game plan for today. Game plan for today, gotta build the wheels. Just got the lips back from powder coating. I painted the faces again today, yesterday, last night. Um, and then finally installing the big brake kit that my wife got me for Christmas. Like, what's up? What does your wife get you for Christmas? It's, uh, it's funny too, because I remember Mariah was like hitting me up. Like she was asking like, what um, what could retrofit onto your Z4? Yeah, the funny thing is, yeah, they're not, they don't sell a big brake kit for my Z4 from the factory, but the hub of my Z4 is the same as the E90. Mm. So it's actually the E90 factory BMW performance brakes. So the whole time he was getting this gift, I had to ask him about his own brakes and he didn't even know. Oh, he played me too. I was, I'd love to talk about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. They yeah. did this crazy thing. Yeah, I've seen like one guy in Germany has done this thing. I was like asking questions. <laughs> Little do he know, it's a gift that's coming to him. So that's pretty it's much what surprise. we're doing. He's been bamboozled. These, uh, these wheels will eventually be for sale, but I got two guys that want to buy them. So I'll probably just rock them for this turn 14 show. Oh yeah, we're definitely, we're doing uh, the turn 14 car meet again this saturday hopefully i don't know this will probably post after that yeah i just realized this would probably it's be all after. good but if y'all see us there hey you guys mentioned the last episode i was yeah, in there so. i mentioned it in uh, the core lover video nope. but there she goes she's looking hella cute he's doing a carbon fiber hood basically today we're going to be showing you how to install these brakes oh and um also front lip i just rubbed oh. my front lip before oh, let's, let's make our way over there Oh, yeah. Um, so this is my, I made this lip like forever ago. This is a mold I made, just like the mold we're making for the 240Z rear flares. Um, last night I just laid the first layer of carbon and vacuum bagged it in here. There's a little resin happy and there's a lot of re extra resin, but it's all good. Um, so tonight I'm gonna lay a little bit of that Soric core stuff, the white stuff. Lay like a little bit of that in here, and then we back it with some of the, uh, the spare carbon that we have. So I have these two bins of just spare scrap carbon. From all the other parts we made. Yeah, exactly. So I'll just probably patch them in on the back. It's a lip. I will probably destroy it. So <laughs> don't get all on me about uh, what what weave, what direction, and patching. I'm just gonna make it pretty tough, and then that's where core stuff. It'll make it pretty stiff. But yeah, we're. Just, Trying to get it done by, uh, I'm busy tomorrow, so this is the last day we have tonight, and then <laughs> and then Saturday morning we're rolling up to the meet, so it's a little last minute. What's a car show with some without some last minute mods, you know? I guess that's how you get your practice in. Yeah, and I, I was tired of waiting for you. <laughs> what? It was hella traffic. Our accidents galore. Then not even a mention. You know what I hate the most is like when there's a state trooper on the side of the road and everybody stops. That's basically what it was. Yeah. So it was an hour. Oh, this morning someone hit a black bear on 83. What? Yeah, there's a black bear on the side. Damn. That's Baltimore for you. Hella random. All right, so this is the side that's untouched. Yeah. These are, uh, yeah, E90 M3 wheels. From Reed's BMW? Yeah, I got some E90 CSL wheels that I just uh, 
I traded Reed the CSLs for these because I was tired of looking at his car on some stock wheels. <laughs> but then he got some BBSs, so it's all good. This is a big duh, but step one, of course, remove your brake and your brake caliper and your brake rotor and everything associated with your brake. Trying to think how many times I want to say brake. Um, so step one actually is uh, get your trusty uh, PB blaster and spray it on all. Great. <laughs> Actually, that's breakaway, but yeah, whatever. Same stuff. Especially this guy. I might even spray him again one time. This is the uh, the bolt on BMWs that holds the rotor to the hub, or actually the wheel bearing. So they don't use screws; they just use the bolt. Yep. And I'm guessing cool. they a pain in the butt. It's not bad. It's just a six millimeter Allen. Do I hate Allen? Um, and then my brake is actually compressed right now. So it's not, I actually took the two bolts that hold the caliper off. So it's actually holding onto it. So I'm just gonna, yeah. Let's do a comparison. Sorry, go bro, cutting over. Over here on the left, you got yourself a beautiful, sturdy, German made BMW performance caliper and rotor. Y'all hear that? Y'all hear me say it like the Germans say it? I heard that, I heard that from all the way over here. <laughs> the correct pronunciation. Yeah, because I said we kind of... Yeah, shout out to our uh, subs in Germany. Oh, no, that one guy, he was just mad as hell at us because we kept saying BMW. <laughs> but you know what? I'm still going to say BMW because... I mean, yeah, in America, we say W, but... Don't hate me. I love y'all. And then you got the stock one here, which looks very puny. I don't even know how many pistons this is. One. <laughs> y'all are because they normally have like two. Yeah, one, one big ass piston in the back. Another thing to note um, on BMW, you have a brake sensor. It's just your brake wear sensor. This kit came with a new one. It also came with new dust shields. It came with everything. It came oh. with stickers in every language. Well, not every language. But most major languages that uh, <laughs> that says like warning. This this BMW is equipped with BMW performance brake, so you don't go putting buying some stock stuff. Just in case you don't know, your own car has brake. So know. you said this is from an E90, right? Yes. It was a performance package option, so. They just sell it as one huge kit. And it's actually much cheaper than like Brembo's kit or anybody like that. Plus it says Stop BMW. 10. And it says, yeah. It's, and they come in, I'm pretty sure that's Phoenix yellow. So those pretty, BMW pretty cool. people that know y'all colors? It looks like a dusty mustard. <laughs> some, some of that fancy mustard. Yeah, that, you know that Dijon? That grape coupon. <laughs> <laughs> this is BMW grape coupon. Mm, fancy. Another handy tip for us. I got, so this is the, one of the little pins. It's an Allen guy, I don't know what size that is. So what does that slide into? So that should hold the shit together. And when you're a little bit short, it gets you a little booster. Yeah, you get, you get your wheel. wheels a little, <laughs> what, is it, what does Kevin Hart call it? I don't know. Pimp ladder, I don't know. <laughs> little clamp thing, looks like it's some type of release mechanism. Uh, that actually just holds the, uh, it holds the pads. Oh, okay. These are the two halves, those little piston guys. Let me check out, run through here. Whew. That's cutting it close, you guys. That's a very low pad, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I heard squeaking and I've had my little sensor's been running on me for a while. But. Hand me that uh, 14. Next step after you remove your caliper, which maybe you will want to do before you remove it, is disconnect your brake line. Yeah. It's just gonna leak a little, one little. Another nice tip is just leave your brake fluid cap on to your reservoir, because if you let it loose, it'll really pour out, because then it's got an open air in the top of the system. So, just pulled the little set screw guy out of the rotor, pop the rotor off, um, and then we're just pulling the last four bolts out of the dust shield guy. And then I'm gonna go uh, wash my hands so I don't get my new brakes all grilled. The whole kit comes with you have calipers, rotors, one of these sensors, dust shields, which I mean, I don't really know why you even need new dust shields, but. Look how dirty that looks. You got a fresh kit coming on. The car's not even that old, it's not, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's nice. I'm glad, I'm glad it comes with all that goodness. You don't want to put them fresh calipers and rotors on with old dust shields? Nope, I'll be right back. Jesus, <laughs> that is the definition of a dirty hang. It's nice they like preload them and everything. They already got the brake pads on. Bracket. How nice. How does it work? I guess it Dude, measures the vibration. Dude, little bit of voodoo magic and 
it's like, I think, I think when this tab right here starts to get rubbed down. So you can see an X right here into the pad. Once that gets close enough to rub into there, I think that's where. I'm not really sure, but. I was just, I thought it was gonna it like harmonic waves that help it identify when something's getting too low. <laughs> then again, that could just be overthinking it. Nah, bro, you got it. If y'all know, please comment below, because I'm really curious. Just like that, now you got that BMW performance package, you know? Looking real smooth and precise. <laughs> That's your catchphrase. Right? <laughs> Smooth and precise. So now you're gonna mount up your uh, custom wheels that you built. Just for fun, because I don't have any tires on them yet. Um, I'll get tires on them tomorrow, but just just to see. No, it's only right. And we'll just cut because I don't feel like making another one, so I'll just. <laughs> People must have, must have opened their door in my. Oh, I had some on my face. Beard and mustache. Damn. Yeah, that's some shit. Time to bleed them. And then I gotta put my uh, winter wheels or whatever you wanna call them back on. The wheels that he shows no love to. Alright, so right now, Tim is currently pulling vacuum. Yeah, I'm probably like hella close to the camera, but pulling vacuum on a caliper to get fluid gone up into them, them parts, all of that good junk. I'm gonna go jump inside karate style. Go bleed the brakes. All right, so we got fluid to the caliper now, I think. Now, uh, I can't stop laughing at the day. <laughs> the dirt on the chin is like a perfect line. Right yeah. there. Yep. All right, so we got glue to the calipers now. Now Xavier's gonna jump in there, pump the brakes for me. We're gonna do the rest of the old-fashioned way. Karate style. Nah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't that nimble. Mess around, pull my hip out. My Benjamin Button from growing young. Whoa. All right, I'm gonna need a key. Okay, nice sway, sway. What's up, y'all? See my diamond stitch roof? Mm. You ready? One, two, three. Good measures. One, two, three. Good. All right, let's get on up out of here. One big ass pistol. Now I got six. Now you're on big boy status. Hella stopping power. And now, since we got this done. We move on to either building the wheels, which is just super time consuming and like monotonous, or putting the last layers on the back half of the lip. Feeling food. Mmm. <laughs> All right, let's go get something to eat. Hello? Hey, Susie. Yeah? Hey, it's Tim. Oh, good thing you called me. I have a bus book, but you have to come a little later. I'm really busy. Okay, what time? Maybe an hour later. Okay. So like, Is it, it okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, just, okay, bye. Uh, just us two. All right. <laughs> Damn, she real. She real busy. That's my Asian mom. Korean mom, to be exact. Yes. South Korean mom, obviously, because if she was in North Korea, she wouldn't be allowed out of the country, but. Uh, Oh, Kim Jong Un coming to DC to shake Trump hands. So never know. <laughs> World is a very weird place right now. Well, so we got an hour to kill before uh, Susie, wh whatever she just said, she's gonna make us. She's like, good thing you called. Uh, because I guess whatever. Build, start building wheels. Yeah. yeah you don't want to get wheels. too far with resin. You can't do anything. True. True. Any special hardware? Um, no. It's just SRR hardware, I believe. They have a ton of different hardware and different lengths. I believe this is M7 by 30 millimeters or 32, whatever they said. No. I probably could have gone with some shorter ones that actually stick out a little bit on the back, but uh, I wasn't sure. So these these faces were originally the first generation Z4 wheels, and they were 18s, and they had these points continued, and they were two-piece wheels. So I had a machine shop mill down this face a little bit to fit into these lips. And the spoke also, right? Like yeah, the, yeah, the spoke actually pointed down farther, and the lip was like super weak. It was like that far. That's how far. <laughs> Um, and they were two piece. So I basically just bought a bunch of wrecked wheels that had like destroyed lips, topped the faces out, got the faces milled down at a machine shop. Um, I'm now a wholesaler for this company that sells these lips. They get them from Triangle Hard Alloys or something like that. They're like the top wheel supply. Everybody gets their lips from them. But um, yeah, and then basically I just bolted the faces in. Uh, I had Josh. There used to be a 
Like right here, there used to be a hole where the old valve stem used to go. Welded it from the back for me and welded it out really far and fat on the front half. So then I ground it down and smoothed it out. So you can't even tell. So now the valve stub's in the lip, the regular three-piece wheel. And you so, welded the barrels too. Yeah, lips and barrels were welded together. Since it's only got 20 bolts in the face, um, I was kind of afraid that it wouldn't be as structurally sound. Um, that's what a lot of guys that are running um, RS2s do as well. RS2s only use 16 bolts. Um, like Nick Craft, Nick Craft bought those RS2 faces for me. It's got that M4, the black M4, like hella episodes ago. Came by. Crafty boy, we've known him for so long. Ah, we should, we should hit him up and do like a photo shoot. Yeah. Two bagged black BMWs on yeah. some sick DBSs. Might break, I don't know, man, you might break the web. Gotta be careful. <laughs> I forgot these bolts actually hold the face really tight, so I don't have to run a socket set on the other side too. Save a ton of time. Whew. Yeah, basically today we just did the brakes and rotors to make the car look sexy for yeah. Saturday. Big brake kit. Sorry, you guys can't see it. I was gonna put the couple, uh, couple last layers on the inside of it. Because oh, yeah. it's just got one vacuum bag layer on the inside of it right now. Yeah. For all the people that want to see more carbon fiber, sorry. I'll put it on my Instagram story. Follow me, you'll see it. If not, oh yeah, make sure you follow us on Instagram because each one of us might post little behind the scenes. Yeah. Uh, like if you follow my Instagram story, you would have seen me making that lip yesterday and painting these faces and stuff like that. So it's but. a lot of stuff that go on behind the scenes that I know some people want to see. Uh, so pretty much gonna wrap it up now. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, that's it. I can't yeah, take we'll, it. Off. We'll see you at the, the turn 14 event if you're going to be there. Yeah, maybe. Second annual. Maybe yeah. maybe we'll win an award. Hopefully. I don't know. We're talking into the future now. Who knows? Yeah. We're going to look back at this and be like, damn, we ain't win nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we out.